Hi everyone. Today is Monday. It's 1.44 in the afternoon and it is 32 degrees outside. Actually today is one of the warmest days that we've had so far. And I don't know if you've all have heard about a scare about Beneful dog food, which is what I have been giving my dogs. But I just switched over to the Blue Wilderness and actually this is what we were told to give our other Cavalier King Charles that passed away last year. Um, right before he passed away he had to be put on a special diet and this is what they recommended. It is um, healthy and holistic Blue Wilderness and this is the natural evolutionary diet and this is the chicken recipe. That's what we've been giving them, and they seem to love it. Um, the first day when we switched over, Sophie here had a little attack of, hold on one second, let me just put this down for a second so I can pour this in here. Um, yeah, Sophie had had a little bit of runny poops the first day, but now that she's used to it, the both of them are used to it after a few days, and they love it and they're both doing really good and I just feel like I'm giving them something more substantial when it comes to actual food instead of fillers so yeah this is a high protein grain free diet and let's see yeah, it gives them um, a blend of protein fat and healthy complex carbs that they need to thrive without the grains that contain gluten so, huh, it even has blueberries, cranberries, and carrots in it. And it's for immune system health, life stage requirements, healthy oxidative balance. Up to 15 pounds, it calls for a quarter of a cup. And then from 16 to 25, which is what Ripley would be, it calls for a cup and a quarter to a cup and three quarters. But one of these little containers, when I fill it up, will usually last almost a week. The two of them don't really pig out. They go over and nibble when they're hungry. And I think he's actually losing a little bit of weight. He's my grazer. He likes to eat um, leftovers from the table and little treats, whatever we're having, he thinks he's going to have. And she's usually pretty good. She hasn't started putting on any weight yet. She just looks really good and healthy and they're ready to play. It is 10 minutes to 2 and as you can see I've been on my couch this morning. I took a little hour nap I think and um, in 10 more minutes I'm gonna sit and watch General Hospital and then I'm gonna come in here and start getting dinner ready because by then it will be like 3 and I think tonight for dinner we're probably gonna have either sp um, spaghetti with meat sauce with these mushrooms or one of these Velveeta skillets. We have um, creamy beef stroganoff, um, ultimate cheeseburger mac, and chili cheese mac. I, maybe I'll do this creamy beef stroganoff tonight and I'll throw the mushrooms in that. That'll be good. Yeah, that's what we'll have tonight. So today I've just been, um, I just cleaned out my sink with Barkeeper's Friend and I washed the glass on my little toaster oven and my, my microwave and just wiped off all my counters with this disinfectant. It's um, with bleach, disinfects and removes stains. So we just got finished cleaning the kitchen, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? She's such a good little girl. And this is what it looks like outside today. I think maybe some of the snow has melted a little bit. And my driveway is all melted down. So that's good. Hi everyone. I'm going to be doing a tag today and it's called the This or That Tag. And I I think I was 
tagged by Ms. Flip Flops and Pearls. It was so long ago, I don't remember. I know that she tagged me to do the behind the scenes of a YouTuber tag, and I'm not sure if she tagged me for this one or not. Um, it may have been Kathy A. Um, I apologize if I got it wrong, but um, let me just start here. And okay, it's the this or that tag. So the questions are, this is the makeup category, blush or bronzer? I guess if I have to choose, I would choose bronzer. Lip gloss or lipstick? I think I would choose lipstick because it lasts longer. Eyeliner or mascara? Oh, that's easy. I Half the time I go without mascara anyways. Um, so it would have to be eyeliner I would choose. Foundation or concealer? Concealer. Neutral or color eyeshadow? Neutral. Pressed or loose eyeshadows? Pressed. Brushes or sponges? Brushes. Nails, okay, nail category. OPI or China Glaze? I think I would choose China Glaze. Long or short? Short. Acrylic or natural? Natural. Brights or darks? Depends on the season. I like lights, brights in the, in the summer, and I like darks in the winter. Flower or no flower? Oh, for that, that's um, for body stuff, okay. It's, it's kind of misleading here. Um, all right, so I would, I, I choose a non-floral, I guess. Um, I like the more musky, uh, not oriental, I would say, um, just really exotic, different, woodsy scents. Perfume or body splash? Perfume, body splash in the summer. Lotion or body butter? Body butter. Body wash or soap? Body wash. Lush or other bath company? Lush, they mean the brand. It's a not a capital L. Other bath, I would say. Fashion. Jeans or sweatpants? Jeans. Long or short sleeve? Can I say three quarter? Once again, it depends on the summer. You know, if it's summertime, I'll go um, short sleeve. Um, dresses or skirts? Dresses. Stripes or plaid? Stripes. Flip flops or sandals? Oh, I'm a flip flop girl. Scarves or hats? Scarves. Studs or dangly earrings? Studs. Necklaces or bracelets? Seeing I love my Alex and Annie so much, I would say bracelets. Heels or flats? Flats. Cowboy boots or riding boots? Riding boots. Jacket or hoodie? Jacket. Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe? Forever 21. Abercrombie or Hollister? Abercrombie, I guess. Saks Fifth Ave or um, Nordstrom? Probably Nordstrom. Okay, this is the hair. Curly or straight? Straight. Bun or ponytail? I think a messy bun is cute. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? Um, uh, doesn't matter. Hairspray or gel? Hairspray. Long or short? Short. Light or dark? This is for hair. Um, light. Side swept bangs or full bangs? Side swept. Um, up or down? Well, I can only wear it one way, seeing it's short, so down. Um, okay, this is random. Rain or shine? Of course I'm going to say shine. Uh, summer or winter? Summer. Definitely summer. After this winter, it's, of course I'm going to say summer. Um, spring or fall? Mm, I love the fall. But I also love the spring because we have the whole summer ahead of us and the fall. Oh, God. Let's see. If I were to choose, I would say maybe spring. Yeah. I love that time of year. Just in the spring, I come alive. In the fall, I start thinking of winter. So I would say spring. Okay. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. East Coast or West Coast? I have never been to the West Coast, so I can't tell you. But I love the East Coast. Believe it or not, I love the Four Seasons. I love the, you know, the changes in the weather with each season. Because without a winter, we wouldn't appreciate our summer so much. Um, if we had the same weather year-round, I think I'd get bored and I'd get sick of it. I could do with a shorter winter and less snow. Maybe just a couple of snowfalls and a few dips in the temperature, but then like maybe 40s for the rest of the winter, 50s, um, instead of below zero. Yeah, I, I think I like the East Coast. You'd have to ask Rocky and Rich that question because they live out there and they've also lived in cold climate. So, you know, they lived in Chicago, I think it was. So I think people 
like to, as you get older, you like to go to a warmer climate in the winter. But anyways, that's the tag, and I tag anybody who hasn't done this yet. Um, I can't think of anybody that hasn't done it because I'm always the last one on the bus, guys. Yeah, I went to get my hair done today, and I just want to show you what the back looks like. I had her bump it up a little bit in the back, and, oh, um, this is Mandy, oh, what's her screen name? I'm going to put her link below, and um, she's a YouTuber, and she does videos, and I love her hairdo, and I, I couldn't bring a picture or, you know, anything to show my hairdresser, and my husband had my cell phone, so I told her what I wanted, and I tried to describe Mandy's haircut in the back. Now, mine's a little shorter. It, it you know, it will grow out a little bit, but I told her I wanted it um, more rounded and you know more layers in here and then you know round it and then closer down in here and then you know coming towards the front but check out Mandy's hairdo you guys if you guys like a short bob she's got like an asymmetrical one side is a little bit longer than the other and then she tucks one side behind her ear and it is so darn cute um, my my sides are the same but yeah, I went and I had her color it, and she put highlights and low lights in, and you know, all the way down to under here, right around here, and all highlights and low lights. You can't tell in this light, but I loved the way she placed the blondes and the, the darker pieces, and I'm fresh from the salon right now. Usually I like to come home and wash it, but I'll wait like 24 hours, let the color set and everything before I do. But um, I really like the way she did the side this time because I can like, you know, bump this up a little bit in the back and and it comes like I like it on the side. So, yeah. And she kind of graduated it towards the front. But anyways, um, I have not had it done since like before Christmas and I was really in dire need of color and a cut. So my makeup's probably like washed off my face by now. <laughs> so anyways guys, I hope you're all having a great day and I just wanted to do this tag and like I say, I tag any of you that want to do this. And I also want to thank my new subscribers for coming over. I'm so glad you're here. I am coming out of my little hibernation for the winter. <laughs> Anybody that's been watching me for a year or so, know that in the winter time around February I start getting the winter blues and I just uh, I just am unmotivated I go into like a hibernation mode and I just I sleep a lot I could sleep my life away I mean I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning because I don't want to miss the sunrise and I you know I'm the first one I put on coffee and stuff like that anyways I go back to bed around seven eight and I'll sleep till like 2 in the afternoon. And then I'll go to bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and do the same thing the next day. You know, sleep half the day. It's just, I don't know why, but I just, I feel like I'm catching up my sleep. Um, I'm getting a lot of good REM sleep because I'm dreaming. And I have no problem falling asleep at night because I have my sleeping pills. Um, I don't know if this much sleep is good for you or not, but... It sure feels good to me. So guys, I will shut up because I'm rambling again and I will talk to you all later. And have a great night. And today is Tuesday. I'll be back either tomorrow or Thursday. So have a good one, guys. And like I say, I tag anybody that wants to do this, this or that tag. I'll put a list of the choices down below and talk to you soon.